I look like a hot mess. Um, it's Wednesday night, just about bedtime. I just finished editing my video that's going up in the morning. So now that's uploading and it's going to take forever. I have to keep my computer awake so that it keeps working on it because it's going up in the morning. Um, I am going to read a little bit. I didn't get very much read today at all. I brought Fountains of Silence to work with me. I read a little bit during the kids' quiet time. Maybe got 35 pages into it. I wanted to get over 100 pages into it by the end of the day. Not going to happen. But I have two nap times tomorrow because I watch a baby on Tuesdays and Thursdays. She still takes two naps. So I will get some good reading time in tomorrow. And in the meantime, while we're uploading, I'm going to read yesterday's chapters of Just Mercy because I'm behind in this one as well. Um, so I'm going to read a little bit of this and then call it a day. I probably will not pop back on tonight. Um, sorry that Wednesdays are kind of boring. <laughs> I didn't really have anything to talk about today because I work for 10 hours and then I go straight from work to church because I teach a kids small group on Wednesday nights, but we only have one more week now. Tonight was the second to last one for this semester. We kind of do semesters of small groups. So tonight we learned all about the candy cane and the ways that the candy cane can make us think about Jesus. <laughs> So it was just kind of a fun Christmassy lesson. We played some candy cane games. We ate some candy canes. We listened to the story, like the legend of the candy cane or the candy maker or something. Uh, there was a YouTube video where the story is just read to you. So with some pictures. So we listened to that, sang some songs, did some crafts and called it a day. Um, but now I need to read, finish uploading and go to bed. I'll check with you tomorrow. Good morning, friends. Happy Thursday, day four of Tis the Season a Thon. Um, it, today is not going to have, have very much that's exciting. I'm getting ready to go to work. I'm wearing my buffalo plaid. Yay for the season of year where buffalo plaid works. Um, <clears throat> today, excuse me, I realized last night that it's December and I'm working on this blanket for my sister for Christmas and I have a long ways to go. So I downloaded two Christmassy books on to Hoopla. So I have uh, 25 Days in December by Poppy Alexander and We Met in December by Rosie something. Um, I forget who the authors are, but I may listen to an audiobook instead of read today so that I can work on this blanket while the baby naps. I am still bringing Just Mercy with me as well. Um, I had set out yesterday, I talked to Amanda, who is my buddy read for Fountains of Silence. I was like, let's read 30 chapters a day. I read like five yesterday. Wednesdays are just not a big reading day for me. So <laughs> I'm already behind in what I set out. So that's okay, because she said she wasn't gonna be able to keep up with that pace either. So no worries, no worries. Today's the second day in a row that I didn't work out in the morning. Boo. I really need to, I knew as soon as I stopped doing it, it was going to be easy to not continue, to continue to not do it. So tomorrow I have to wake up early and do my workout in the morning. I'm planning on doing it later today just because I can't keep skipping. That's not cool. Yeah, just when I was on such a good streak of it. So we'll see what I end up reading today. Hopefully I get some blanket action going to, at work. I really need to make progress on this blanket. So it's just, it has to happen. Otherwise, I have to come up with another Christmas gift idea. Yikes. Or give it to her unfinished. That's not cool. So yeah, no, I, I definitely need to work on this blanket. But that's the plan for the day. I don't have anything going on this evening, so I, hopefully I'll be able to get some good amount of reading in. Um, and, oh, my, re my bed is a mess. I don't really have anything going on this evening, so I think that I might run to the store and buy another strand of Christmas lights and set up a, like, book Christmas tree. I, I was thinking about doing that in my library room, so hopefully you'll get to see that later in this video. We'll see, but that's kind of the plan for the day. Just read, work, get some lights, and set up a book miss tree, a book miss Christmas and set up a book Christmas tree. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. The day is young. I'll talk to you soon. Well, I am 
finally home from work. It feels like it's much later than normal for a Thursday because I went to Costco. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you real quick what I got from Costco. I got a little bit of toothpaste. <laughs> this um, Sherpa pullover. Oh my word, it's so cozy. It's just so fuzzy. It's a little half zip here. Has pockets. It's a cream color. It's gonna be awesome. I'm really excited about this one. I also just got another kind of pullover which is comfy for working with kids. It's just this gray stripe, kind of lightweight. Not a sweater, it's more like a sweatshirt, but it's not heavy like a sweatshirt. Just kind of this lightweight gray comfortable shirt very excited and the most exciting the most exciting thing that I got is an Eddie Bauer winter down jacket and it's long I should put it on for you but I don't feel like it <laughs> but it has like puffy sleeves but they're not really puffy because it's really a down jacket guys this was only $29 <laughs> for an Eddie Bauer winter coat and I sadly don't have a good winter coat I haven't for years I just wear my fleece that I wear all the time but tomorrow night I'm going to be doing something outside and I needed something warm and the one of the moms of the families I work for was like hey you should look at Costco they have these Eddie Bauer jackets for $29.99 and it's long it's like goes beyond my hips which is really nice for when I'm wearing a longer shirt it doesn't kind of hang out underneath my jacket um, yeah and I'm really excited they had two other colors kind of like a royal like a teal and a plum kind of color that was a little bit metallic-y looking but I just feel like black goes with everything and all the scarves and things that I have already would match black better than those other ones so black it is not very exciting but I'm thrilled about the price yay Costco Costco does it again hashtag Costco does it again <laughs> all right so I'm gonna I haven't even taken my shoes off yet I'm gonna take my shoes off I'm gonna make a cup of tea and I'm gonna read Just Mercy a little more. Let me tell you guys, this book is, is so good. If you've not read Just Mercy, I would highly recommend looking into it and seeing if it's something for you. It's really just so good and it's very challenging and I feel like it's so unbelievable and yet that makes me really kind of smacked in the face with my privilege and the fact that I've lived a very kind of sheltered and blessed life and I'm very thankful for the place that I've lived and the way that I was brought up but I feel like my eyes are being open to a whole nother type of life and the people that are on the outskirts of these cases that he's talking about like the family members and um, it's just when you can't have confidence in the system and the people that you're supposed to have confidence in it's really disheartening and more than disheartening, like infuri it's infuriating me and it's so frustrating and I'm not sure where the book is going. I don't know what the outcome is gonna be. I'm in the middle of it right now and it's just really frustrating. So I don't know if he's gonna bring me to a place of here's some things that you can do or how to walk it out um, now that you have this knowledge. <laughs> and understanding a little bit more, what can you do about it? Um, I'm not sure where it's gonna go yet, but it's just really good, really good. So I'm gonna finish the chapter that I'm on. I'm still behind where I'm supposed to be by the end of today. Not where I'm supposed to be, where, I, where I'd like to be by the end of today. So I would like to, the second discussion post went through chapter seven, so I would like to get through chapter seven so that I can participate in that discussion on Goodreads and yeah. That's it. So I'm going to go get comfy. Well, I'm kind of comfy already. I'm wearing this tunic fleecy thing, which is so comfortable in leggings. So I just need to take my shoes off and put fuzzy socks on. That's all. <laughs> but I will talk to you a little bit later. Hi, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to make a tree, a Christmas tree out of books. So I'm going to grab some books off my shelves. I have this space in this corner right here. I did not go get lights. So I won't be able to finish decorating it today, but I'm going to attempt to build it. Are you ready? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs>
I'm gonna stop there. Here it is, undecorated. I will get some decorations on here so you can stay tuned to another vlog on another day to see the finished product. But for now, it's decent. It doesn't look like it's gonna fall over. We'll have to see where it goes from here. I need something fun to put up on top. I need definitely need some lights and some decorations. So I'll have to take a look. I have to still finish decorating the rest of my house for Christmas, so I have a lot of decorations still to pull out. I will find some fun things for this book tree, but I think that's pretty good. It's a little wonky in a couple places, and there's some books that need to get put away. It uses a ton of books. It's a little, you know, deliciously chubby, <laughs> but that's good, that's good, right? All right, I'm gonna go read again. <laughs> I'll talk to you in a few. face is bad that's really pretty um, it's the end of Thursday day four of just the season a thon and I need to wrap it up so that I can get this vlog uploaded for tomorrow morning I made really good progress on my blanket today and listened to half of 25 days of Christmas by Poppy Alexander it has a lot more depth than I thought it would be I thought it was gonna be a rom-com, and it's definitely gonna be a romance, I think, but we haven't really gotten there yet. They've had a couple conversations. It's very cute, but both of our main protagonists, the male and female protagonists, um, have deal are dealing with some stuff. <laughs> both of them have experienced some loss. One of the, the mom, the, the female is a single mom. Her husband has passed away. Um, dealing with some issues at school with her son um, and just not trying to just trying to make ends meet uh, and then the male the, the guy his sister he was the the main the sole caregiver for his sister who had heart disease and down syndrome and has passed away about a year ago so both of these two dealing with some severe grief and loss and struggle and they're just lovely people with a lot of strength and kindness and goodness and it's so wonderful it's a really nice book to listen to um yeah it's not as cutesy as I thought it was going to be which is kind of nice um but I will continue to listen to that as I crochet um I do listen at 1.5 speed once I get going listening to it I can usually up the the speed a little bit more but but because I'm like part of my brain is thinking about the blanket and what I'm doing when I'm crocheting, I can't, I have to keep it at 1.5. So um, I have listened to like five hours worth of a nine hour um, audiobook. So that's pretty good. I did make it up to where I'm supposed to be in Just Mercy, and I've already talked about that with you guys. It's really good. It's so good. Um, and that, that's the only reading that I did today. I did not bust out Fountains of Silence at all. Um, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Amanda. Um, but that's okay. I got some good reading in. And tomorrow I have some fun things planned. I got to do some filming in the morning, pre-filming for some videos for next week. And um, still need to do my November wrap-up. That's happening in the morning. Um, and then I have to go to work just for a few hours at 1. And then I have an event I'm going to tomorrow night though so stay tuned for Friday and Saturday's vlog day five and six because there's gonna be some fun Christmassy things in that one so this one's a little more quiet oh and I had two more clips from yesterday that I filmed at work they're gone I don't know if I didn't push record or what I remember talking to my phone <laughs> I don't have them. They're not they're not on my phone anymore. So boo. <laughs> That's really sad. So sorry for the abrupt start to this video. 
uh, it's just, it is what it is, technology. And because it's Vlogmas and I'm filming it every day, I'm not going to worry about some little mess ups like that. It's going to happen. But that's it for me today. I would love to chat with you in the comments. As always, I'm doing my best to keep up with them. If I get too far behind, it's going to be crazy by the end of the month. So I'm doing my best to spend a few minutes every day responding to a bunch of comments. I will continue to do that. So let's chat down there. And I hope that you had a great end of your week. Bye.